Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. In this video, we will see how to easily remember the different trial design domains. So let us say, uh, we know that in clinical trials, the study designs can be of parallel arm or crossover design. So within a parallel design, so the subjects will be randomized to a particular arm and each arm will correspond to a specific treatment and subject assigned to a specific arm would only receive the specific treatment associated with that arm in the entire course of the study. So for example, if subject is assigned to an arm which corresponds to placebo, the subject would continue receiving placebo till the end of the study. And similarly for the subjects who are assigned to active arm will receive active treatment till the end of the study. Whereas in crossover uh, studies, what will happen is the same subjects would be receiving both placebo and active. Uh, uh, for the first uh, specified period of time, the subjects would be taking the one of the treatments and then switch over to the other treatment. And then similarly, likewise, for the subjects who are assigned to the other arm of the study, they would be taking uh, active during the first period and then switch to placebo for the second period. So which means the same subject is receiving both uh, treatments across different time points. So in this, let us say we are working on a crossover trial in which the inclusion criteria says and inclusion and exclusion criteria is like this. So the inclusion criteria is the subject should be within 18 to 65 years of age and the subject should not have had any surgeries in 30 days. So let's say this is an exclusion criteria and the first one is an inclusion criteria. So I have simplified this, so just to, uh, for the purpose of easily remembering things. So, so in this crossover study, let's say two treatments are being compared. One is placebo along with active. So every trial will have a period in time during which the subject may receive treatment or no treatment. So every trial can be divided into periods of time where the subject may receive treatment or no treatment. The periods of time which correspond to uh, of uh, the subjects where the subjects are not receiving treatment could be screening, washout or follow up and the subjects where a subject is uh, uh, and the period of time where the subject is receiving a treatment is will be dependent on the specific treatment that the subject is taking. So for example, if a subject is assigned to in a crossover trial in which the subject is supposed to receive placebo first and then active next. So there will be a period corresponding to the time in which the subject is taking placebo and there will be a period corresponding to the time where the subject is taking active medication. So these periods of time in which the subject is receiving a treatment or no treatment so will be called as elements. So these screening is an element, placebo is an element, washout is an element, active is an element and follow up is an element. So these are considered as the building blocks of our trial. So a subject may uh, continue through all the elements or may drop off in between. But these are the basic building blocks of our study. Let's say during a screening period, one visit is expected as per the protocol. And when the subject is taking placebo, two visits are expected. And during the washout period, one visit is expected. And during when the subject is taking active, so two visits are expected. And in the follow up, there is one visit is expected. So. Now let's try to quickly identify some of the domains that store these pieces of information which we have already seen. So this set of information which we have called as elements would be stored in trial elements data set. And this piece of information which corresponds to the visits associated with the study, the planned visits would be stored in a data set called TV, which is trial visits. So we have also seen that the, there are certain inclusion and exclusion criteria for the subject to participate in the study. So these study level inclusion and exclusion criteria would be stored in a domain called 
TI trial inclusion exclusion criteria. So we now know three different SDTM uh, trial design domains. One is trial elements, the second one is trial visit and the third one is trial inclusion exclusion criteria. Now let us continue further and then see uh, what other uh, trial design domains we can identify based on this concept. So let us say there is this crossover trial in which there are two arms, arm A and arm B. So in which the subjects who are assigned to arm A will receive placebo first and then uh, active afterwards. And whereas the subjects who are assigned to arm B, the subjects would be receiving active treatment first followed by placebo. So what will be the sequence of elements for the subjects who have participated in arm A, uh, who belong to arm A is like the subjects would undergo screening and then as they are supposed to take placebo first, they take placebo and after washout, washout is nothing but uh, the a specific uh, period of time during which the placebo is allowed to be uh, washed out of the body. So and then after that specified amount of time wherein the subjects do not receive any treatment, this subjects who belong to arm A will receive active treatment. And then after the specified amount of time during which the subject take active medication, they would enter into follow up. So let us now try to see the sequence of elements for the subjects who are part of arm B. So as part of arm B, so the subjects should take active first and then placebo. So here now again the subjects would be screened and prepared for giving the first medication and then they start with active medication and then they go to the washout period and then placebo and then into follow-up. So the order of elements has changed between two arms. So there are fixed set of time periods wherein the subjects may be taking placebo, active and other non-treatment corresponding elements but the order of these elements is differing between two different arms. So this order of elements for each arm would be stored in a data set called trial arms which is TA. So we'll now try to identify one other trial design domain so which is considered as the most important one so every trial or uh, which we start will have a protocol title and then it will also have some registration number with the regulatory authorities and then the study will have a primary objective and then some secondary objectives and then each study will be uh, planned to be conducted based on a set of subjects and then we will also have say for example if 30 subjects are planned in a particular trial but uh, 31 or 29 subjects are enrolled into the study so we have to report that information as well in a data set so similarly every study would have a start date which is equivalent to the first subjects informed consent date so that that's when the study is actually considered to be started similarly we will also have an end date for the study which can be the last date of the last subject. So there is some other trial, uh, uh, clinical trial related information that needs to be captured somewhere in a data set. That data set is in which we capture such trial specific information is trial summary data set which is TS data set. We know, know that there we will be able to quickly identify how many? One which is trial elements, the second one is trial visits, the third one is trial inclusion exclusion criteria, fourth one is trial arms and fifth one is trial summary. So we will be able to easily recollect and quickly know what is present in each of the trial design domains. So the five trial design domains are trial elements, trial visits, trial inclusion exclusion criteria, trial arms and trial summary. So what information will we have in trial elements? The elements possible in the study. So element is nothing but a period of time in which the subject may be taking treatment or no treatment. So within the treatment 
period of time wherein the subject is taking a treatment the element will be given a specific name based on the treatment in which they are receiving so if they are giving uh, if they are receiving placebo that element would be called placebo element if they are receiving active so that element would be called as active element so now we'll try to cover one additional aspect here which is nothing but epoch so element is a period of time which is corresponding to treatment or no treatment and the treatment elements would have the specific name associated with the treatment but epoch is also a period of time but it is at trial level it is not at the uh, individual treatment level it is at the trial level so we will now try to quickly identify so so this is a period of time wherein the subjects are undergoing screening so this is at study level so at study level the subjects would be screened irrespective of the arm so so we have this second period of time which is at study level what is this this can be called as treatment one so there is a period of time wherein the subjects would be receiving their first treatment so for the subjects who are belonging to arm a they would be receiving placebo as part of first treatment but whereas subjects belonging to arm b will receive active during treatment period so epoch is a period of time which is at study level so this is not at arm level elements will be dependent on the arm but epoch is not dependent on each of the arms so similarly we have this period of time in the trial wherein the subjects will undergo washout and then we have this next period wherein the subjects would receive their treatment two the subjects would be receiving treatment too similarly here the subjects who are part of arm a will be receiving active during their second treatment period and then subjects who belong to arm b will be receiving placebo during the second treatment period and similar to other non treatment elements uh, this is follow which is common for both the arms so how many epochs do we have here one is screening so let's try to first epoch is screening treatment one is another epoch which is second second epoch washout is another epoch treatment two is another epoch follow up is another epoch so we have five elements and five epochs but the epochs are at study level so we will be calling it as treatment 1 treatment 2 so this is how we will be able to quickly remember all the five trial design domains which are regularly used on most of the studies so thank you for watching and keep learning